The nice thing about issues and controversies is it is in essence a report. So it's not something that you would use as an analytical uh, work or something that you would look at as an argumentative piece of writing, but it does give you both sides of arguments and that might help you search out a particular stance uh, for your own argumentative purposes. So here we have something on coronavirus. These are all recent controversies, presidential race, the Supreme Court term limits, mandatory vaccinations, and there are others as you scroll down, climate change, social media, free speech, etc. You also have categories you can search. So they category, categorize these by crime, law and justice, uh, family, teenagers, military, race, global issues, etc. They'll give you an alphabetical listing and then they'll show you additional items. If you click the show all button, it'll show you all the items listed underneath that broad category. So if you're interested in uh, child beauty pageants, you can select that. You can also search at any point uh, using the search box. What it will do is give you a series of pro-con articles. In this case, they're going to give you uh, information on eating disorders, childhood obesity, child abuse, et cetera, beauty pageants. They'll tell you the pro and the con side. So when you click on that particular resource, it will walk you through the background information, and then it'll give you both the supporter and the opponent's argument. Again, these are um, reports that just provide, attempt to provide some unbiased uh, opinions on a variety of topics, but it'll give you both sides. So it's not making one argument. It's giving you both arguments. But this might give you some insight into how you could search for argumentative articles elsewhere online. It's a very helpful tool to get you started if you're kind of lost for what, what type of topics are out there that are argumentative or controversial. These are all in the issues and controversies uh, database, so they should all work pretty well for you. If you. Now, knowing there's something about child beauty pageants, we can go to online resources and perhaps find an article that is either for or against, and now we know what both sides are saying on this particular topic. I hope that helps get you started on selecting an argumentative topic. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. We're always happy to help. Take care.